اللهم يا من جعل انت السحر ابتلاء فانت برحمتك لن تنسانا وانت جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء فلكل داء دواء ولكل ابتلاء الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد واكرم من سئل والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء سراج المنير Alhamdulillah for Allah giving me this opportunity again to do a video in Ramadan. And Alhamdulillah for Allah blessing me to witness this Ramadan because it's a, Ramadan is a blessing. The one who knows it. And Alhamdulillah for Allah making me a Muslim. For those who say they're a Muslim and they say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah know that this path is not an easy path. It's a path where you will be tested. It's a path full of calamities. So hold tight to these calamities. One of the calamities is that in Ramadan you are facing these calamities and you have to overcome it. You have to be strong. You have to be patient. In this Ramadan, three things happen. Three things happen and it's a blessing. The first thing happen is that on this Ramadan, there is a Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr happen in this Ramadan, in the ending of the 10 nights of Ramadan. And in this Ramadan, the gate, the door of hellfire is shut. And in this Ramadan, the shatin are locked up. A lot of people ask me, Ya Sheikh, what is happening to us? We are struggling to fast this Ramadan. We are struggling a lot. Why are we struggling? Because we've heard and we've heard so many people saying that shatin are locked up in, in this Ramadan. We've heard the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, people telling us, there's a hadith saying that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, <clears throat> that the shayateen are locked up. But what is happening to us? What is this? Let me make it clear for you, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, that the shayateen, the bigger shayateen are locked up according to the ulamas, the people of knowledge. But the small shayateen are not locked up. And another one is that, remember, the Qareen is not locked up. And another one is that, remember the shayateen, human being, are not locked up. They are there walking around. And the other one is that, if your nafs was corrupt before Ramadan, you will struggle with Ramadan. So this is what is it. And the shayateen, the smaller shayateen, if he was there before Ramadan, possessing you, they will make it hard for you this Ramadan. But, when you say la ilaha illallah, it's a struggle. You have to go through this struggle. Hold tight to this Ramadan. Do not break it. Do not lose hope. Hold tight and make loads of dua. And one of the things is that a lot of people don't understand is that they hear that the shatun, the maradas are locked up. The big ones and the ifarit or whatever are locked up. But why is there with them? Why is he possessing them? It was decreed for you to be possessed by this jinn before Ramadan. And in the Ramadan, if he's, Ramadan comes in and he's there, Allah has decreed for him to possess you. So he will be there. So if you are possessed by married before Ramadan, and in Ramadan he's still there, he's going to be there because it was not decreed for you to, give, to have shifa. So hold tight to your Ramadan and defeat him then and make laws of dua. The same applies to Ifarit. The same applies with any jinn who is strong out there, who is that top from their kind, that if we was there before Ramadan, you are possessed by him, or he came through magic, or he came through evil life, and he's still there. Now you think that why is he not locked up? Because it was decreed for him to be there. So he's going to be there. So remember that the decree of Allah overcomes everything. So if he was decreed for you to be there, for him to be there, the married, the ifarid, he will be there even in Ramadan in your body. Now the small jinns, if they was possessing you before Ramadan and in Ramadan they are making it hard because these are shaitan, the small shaitan. So make it hard for them. Hold tight to your Ramadan, read a lot of Quran, make a lot of dua and defeat them and defeat them. I know a lot of people who are struggling with this. They cannot fast and they cannot do any task. They are getting so much worse, worse so much overwhelming because of the shaitan. And the Qareen is there. The Qareen is not locked up. So ask Allah to make it easy for the believing men and women out there who are suffering. So your suffering 
Allah will reward you abundantly even in Ramadan if you're suffering. So hold tight to the Ramadan and make loads of dua. Laylatul Qadr is on, is going to come. So hold tight and make loads of dua on these uh, blessed nights. Abu Yahya from the Rukh Talk. Wa akhru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. والحمد لله رب العالمين لا يتبين لهم أنه الحق